Hi, so in this video, I'm going to cover how to use REST Assured to connect to a website or an API which is secured using client certs. So now let's take an example of this website, BadSSL, which provides a endpoint which is secured using client certs. So now when we try and open this URL, it says no required SSL certificate was sent and it's a 400 pad request. We can check the dev tools as well. The status is 400. Let's download the client certificate. So we'll download the P12. And another thing that we will need is if I go to this URL, which is not working right now because we didn't provide the certificate, we still have to use this just to inspect the certificate path. See over here, it's using DigiCert and it's using DigiCert. So this is the root cert and this is the intermediate cert. So let's download both of them. So we'll call it digi root and the intermediate one we will call the intermediate one we will call digi inter. Okay. So now we downloaded the Client cert and we downloaded the root cert with intermediate cert. So here we can do it in multiple ways. See the first way which I do not recommend is that you import all three in the CA certs. The reason I do not recommend this is because if it is a default Java installation, CA certs will be used by multiple applications. So it sort of basically defeats the purpose of the provider giving you the client certs. Another better way is that the two certificates that we downloaded, the uh, root cert and the intermediate cert, we save them in uh, trust store. The P12 that we downloaded, we use that as a key store because this has a key and a certificate. It's a, it's a combination of those two. When I will do this, I will put in the password in code, but that is also not the right way to do it. But let me start and then we can refactor as we go. So let's first create a key store. So key to hyphen import hyphen file, which is from my downloads folder. So I'll just go uh, to and then downloads and then digi and we will import it into key store. So let's create a new key store. We'll just call it trust store, store type. So you can use JKS here, but PKCS12 is preferred. So I'll just stick with PKCS12. The alias, we let's just call it digi underscore enter. KCS12. Okay. Uh, password for production use always keep complex password for this demo. I'm just going to keep it ABCD at the rate hash 1234. ABCD at the rate hash 1234. Okay, so let's add it. We'll do the same thing and we will add the DG root one. So key to hyphen import hyphen file hyphen key store is trust store and the store type is pkcs12 and the alias for this is digi root password is abcd at the rate hash one two three four okay yes so now let's check our trust store so key tool hyphen list hyphen key store trust store so we have two entries digi enter and digi root so now for the next step we will simply copy the 
P12 from the downloads folder, add SSL P12, copy it to the current folder. So now we have the trust store and the P12. We'll just rename this to add SSL. So now over here, I'll say rest assured dot config dot SSL config. Okay, so we'll define the config here, which is SSL config dot with CSSL config dot with import it. And then we are saying the trust store is our trust store and the password is abcd at the rate hash one two three four so we'll talk about this now once it works uh, passing the password or setting the password in the file is not a good practice dot uh, the trust store type so the trust store type is pkcs12 and then well let's leave it like this and then what we can do is response equal to given dot content type okay let's import given content type is content type html in our case dot when dot get so we will get this website um, this one so we want to connect and we should get a 200 instead of 400 okay dot then dot extract the response and i'm asserting equals that the http status dot c okay should be equal to response meaning we need 200 and not 400 okay so now if i run this we know that this will fail okay so we are expecting 200 but we received a 400 so we just have to add the key store which is in our case called bad ssl.p12 and the key store type is pkcs12 so we need to say config equal to this there you go so it connected let's say if you're going to connect to different websites so you will you might need like different stores so in this case this is fine but if you're going to write multiple tests that will connect to the same url so then in that case we should move this to at the rate before say public void setup and then we should do this now if we run this so let's say you have two three tests checking different things this will work so i'm using right now as you can see i'm using the ide for running the test uh, but let's say when you will actually run this i'm assuming that you will run this in a ci cd environment so like gitlab jenkins and over there you will check out this project and then do a maven clean maven install and then run maven test in that case uh, this is now where we talk about the hard-coded password so what you should actually do is uh, instead of hard coding the password and the certificate uh, the key stores we will pass them as parameters so you can see the test is passing right now so what we will do is so the trust store we can say system dot get property so it's actually this one java x net ssl trust store so you can actually set it like this over here we can actually just say get property trust store and then password will be get property trust store password so just to show you that this system.get property or system.set property 
these are just key value pairs over here instead of using the java x net ssl key store and key store password i'm going to use a custom key or bad ssl key store and the password will be the bad ssl key store password okay you can even make this parameterized but for now i'm just going to leave it like this so i will say maven test which is fine but now i have to pass these so i basically have to system dot set property so that it can get property so i'll say hyphen d the java x net ssl trust store is trust store in our case and the hyphen d password is abcd at the rate hash one two three four now imagine running this via Jenkins or in GitLab or whichever CI CD provider that you're using. This password, you can now inject it using the variable CI CD environment. It could just be like a dollar uh, trust store password, for example. And then this value is injected by GitLab or Jenkins or whatever you're using to run this so, but for now abcd hash one two three four and we are using hyphen d bad ssl key store equal to in our case it's bad ssl dot v12 and the hyphen d key store bad ssl key store password is equal to bad ssl dot com so now let's run this uh, it says okay we'll have to put them in double quotes trust password trust store it's because of the dots that's why so we can do a maven clean install basically run the test case and the test case should pull these values from the properties that we injected and the test should pass let's see as you can see the test pass hope this helped thank you for watching